We have a website about this cutter we're working on with Verdi Gilberts and it's verdicutter.blogspot and we're going to look at some of the pictures here. All we do here is press the photos there and we can go like that and then you can tell us a little bit but you put this together um, and just to see what it looked like, right? Yeah, it came when it originally came. It was actually together but it was broken here uh -huh. and it was this was loose and it was broken up in the top. This uh -huh. part was broken off and this is where we welded uh -huh. right here. It came up over the dash and the dash was broken here so instead of curving like that it was standing straight up. Uh -huh. So uh, you see the part right in here that was the part is to repair this to get these runners back together again uh -huh. so then I took a lot of close-up pictures of every part so when uh, when I started restoring it again if he had forgotten just how it went together uh -huh. then uh, you could go back and look at the pictures and see where it is so this is the back of it and this I took the molding off Real careful, pull the nails out of the molding. So that's what it looks like now. Yeah, okay. And you uh, put all that molding around there. Yeah. Trace, trace the molding back just the same as this, uh -huh. just new. And it did the same here. Traced all the moldings on the basswood and the back and everything. So when it, uh -huh. when it uh, was rebuilt, it's identical. So yeah. The old one. Oh. And the car that the nails and there are so this thing is so old that the little nails that held were little square nails uh -huh. with uh -huh. little round tops on them. Uh -huh. they, they were square and tapered. And uh, I've never taken anything apart that had those nails and they were used I don't know how many years ago. Yeah, what's what they said over a hundred years old yeah. in nineteen eighty two, so we're just projecting 1871, it might mm -hmm. be. And you can, the picture of the dash, when you're sitting in the seat, looking forward, uh -huh. and, and you can see the pinstriping on it, and the paintings. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so that would be up here, yeah, uh, that would I'm be, the, that dash down there would be yeah. like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On would, the dash. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so hopefully uh, I can maybe be able to do some pinstriping, uh, but I don't know if I will be able to do the top, the duplicate the painting. The problem was, and he couldn't reuse the original wood. See, this was rotted out. Uh huh. And I suppose it gotten damp in there, and it was dry rotted. So there's no way that he could could um, repair it. So that's what you so got. So that's why that's what you I got. decided to use all new. Yeah, that's what you got here then. That comes. So that's this part yeah. back here. So you had to make make all these parts new. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's yeah. that's this part right up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is what the floor looked like. It was it, it was broken up, and uh, and nope. all this was broken up and routed out, and so um, fortunately, the string, the cross pieces, so cross pieces where the floor is mounted, mm -hmm. weren't are in good shape yet. Yeah, that's okay. The cross so pieces. That's have to put a new floor in it. That's okay. these right here. These cross pieces here. Yeah, and they were in good shape. So then you'd have to put a floor right here. Yep. <laughs> I couldn't the see. Floor yeah. will go right here then. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. And that is that going to be basswood too? Yeah, that's basswood. And like I said before, I measured the thickness of all the pieces of basswood of the original. Uh huh. And then I went to the lumber mill and bought. Uh, from a lumber that's able to um, piece uh, these sauce lumber, I, I could get basswood pieces that were 13 inches wide, uh -huh. and he planed them down to whatever thickness is 
a lot of them. So there's different thicknesses in different parts of the cutter. Uh -huh. So all the thicknesses of the wood are the same as the original. And uh, so I had, they did a lot of planing and measuring and that to get it back as close as you could to the original cutter. Part here, what I was talking about before, was the biggest because when it broke, when it was broken here, that runner had separated from the, that hold. hold oh. The the runner separated. They let go here, and it had started straightening out. So you had really had a hard time to put a clamp from here to here to pull it back in shape again, and then. I used dowels, drilled holes with dowels all the way through there. Uh -huh. And then I put a screw through there. And so hopefully it'll hold. There took a lot of, it's a lot of strain on it because it had straightened out. Looked like it was, that, the that dash was broken here and it was broken here. These metal pieces that come up on the dash here, they're the ones that had been welded because they were broken off. So that all had to, been, had to be rebuilt and welded and straightened out again to get them. And the surprising part of it was when, when he welded that, those pieces on straight, when he took the dash that they had already built and put it on there, it must come back almost like the original because when you slip the dash back on again, these fit almost right on. So I think you got the dash the same slant as it was before. Dash on for a while to, so you could take pictures as, as um, I just uh, disassembled mm -hmm. it and took it apart. You took all those close up pictures. So you had a reference when you started putting it together and if you could rend it, if you forgotten how the original craftsman that built it did it, mm -hmm. you tried to duplicate his methods. Or so much of it, he, 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 the, his hand shaped, like you have to use, I use a spoke shade. To, so you, shape, mm -hmm. to shape some pieces like this, you put them in the vise and you use a spoke shave, but it's like here, yeah, mm -hmm. you shape it by hand. And that's the way they originally did it mm -hmm. back in those days. They did their shaping with a spoke shave. And now you can use a router to do it, but for some of the parts, you, it, there's no way you could get the router to do the same thing as a uh, hand. Mm -hmm. hand work. So why didn't you just put like, why do you got that curve there? You don't need... Well, the reason I did, because this is the way the original one was. I, I traced these parts that, for the braces, mm -hmm. and it, it put screws in, and I made it, duplicated the original ones, just to try to keep it as original as possible. Mm -hmm. You could take some shortcuts here and there, you know. You probably can't even use plywood. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. I said, you can't use plywood on a cutter, you know. You could shorten it up a little bit by instead of bend, spending all the time bending all that you can get some one eight. Oh, you can bend that, <laughs> but then it wouldn't be. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be an original. You had that. And. Uh, uh 